Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome to the first episode of Skyblock Hardcore Edition. I'm sure most of you will be aware of what Skyblock is so I won't explain it for too long but the gist of the matter is we're stuck on this tiny little island and we have to, well, try and survive somehow. All whilst thriving and building some kind of floating island base, I suppose. The first thing I'm going to do is desperately try and get a seed from one of these grass. Well, we're off to a rubbish start. Now, the last time I played Skyblock, this was all that there was. This little island. And it may seem like that's the case on first glance, but if you look off into the distance, we actually have some more islands. A mangrove swamp, a tiger, a mushroom island, and of course, the jungle. Hopefully we'll be able to get to at least one of them today. The first thing I need to do is try and safely secure myself a sapling. So I think I actually want to expand the platform a little bit. This is all of the supplies we're given to start off with, but I'll come back to them later. For right now, I need to just make this a bit wider. Now, if you've never played Skyblock before, something that is very important to note is dirt is incredibly valuable. To my knowledge, I don't think we're going to get any more dirt than what we have here, so I really don't want any of these blocks going over the edge, because I'll, well, never see them again. <gasps> oh, that one was close. <laughs> Nearly lost that one. We've got some wood, so I can make myself our first crafting table, along with our first wooden pickaxe, and probably only wooden pickaxe because we're now going to make ourselves a cobblestone generator. It's been a really long time since I've done this and I don't want to mess it up. I I've been thinking for a while how to try and save this bit of dirt. I, I don't think it's going to happen. It's just going to have to get lucky and pop up into my inventory. So we may be wasting a dirt block here, but oh, that pains me. But I I the water needs somewhere to flow into, I think anyway. And then if we do... Nope, that's not going to work. Hang on one second. <laughs> then if we go lava here, let that flow. Oh, goodness, this could go poorly. Break our dirt block here and hopefully it doesn't burn. There we go. Is is that a cobblestone generator? Oh. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of Hardcore Skyblock. Let's get ourselves caught back up, shall we? So it turns out this is how you make an infinite cobble generator. Water there, into the hole, lava here, we stand here, cobble in front of us. I've upgraded to a stone pickaxe, but I am at some point gonna have to design a cobble generator that doesn't just burn up all of my blocks <laughs> as soon as I break them. But this will do nicely for now. Whilst I slave away at the cobble generator here, I just want to mention, I'm not sure what's going to become of this series. It kind of depends on how well it's received by you guys. So if you are enjoying it, let me know by leaving a like and or a comment. That would be greatly appreciated. But hopefully we'll be able to make a nice little series out of this, so long as enough people are interested. And there goes the first pickaxe. Just over a stack and a half of cobblestone later. So I've crafted all of my cobble into slabs here and I think the first thing I'm going to do is make my way over to that island. I've also realised there are other islands by the way, you just can't see them with my current render distance. But they're out there. I think it's smart if I make my way over using bottom half slabs then I don't have to worry about mob spawning. Aren't I a clever clogs? Okay, I should probably actually focus on making sure I don't fall off here. I keep forgetting it's hardcore mode. Because if I fall down there, that's it, game over. There's only so many times I can restart a season in a single episode. And we've made it, right in time for night time. This right here is the whole reason I've chosen this island over the others. Sweet berries are a pretty rubbish food source to be honest, but they're easily replenishable. We can also eventually get some 2x2 two two spruce trees on the go, which will just make getting wood a lot easier. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought I was dying. It's just a sweet berry bush. I should probably break that. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a sapling. Phew. We'll return to that island once I stop starving, because right now I need to plant these sweet berries. I'm also going to plant these glow berries because I didn't realize they're actually edible. Turns out they are. <laughs> so there we go. We got a little berry farm on the go. Trouble is, I'm starving to death, so I don't really know what to do other than just wait. 
Whilst we wait, I can do some low effort tasks like planting sugarcane, making a hoe, and starting a very, very small wheat farm. There is something quite charming about Skyblock, I must say. Well, the sun has come up, my berries have not grown, I'm still starving, none of my crops have really done anything, so I'm just gonna wait some more, I guess. Oh, my berry bush grew, that's something. <gasps> yes, my first berries, fantastic, I'm just gonna plant it back down. <laughs> I need to get a little bit of a farm underway first. I'm hoping mining doesn't take too much of my food away, I'll stop if it begins to, but I'm hoping I can just gather a few blocks here and maybe work on making a bit of a platform down there and we can get some of this dirt back slowly. All right, we've got some blocks, I'm gonna actually give this a go. So the way you get down in Skyblock, at least I think so, is you place water, hop into the water, grab some of your blocks and just sort of pillar down like that. Then we can dig our way downwards, plunge into the abyss, <laughs> at least partially, and now we're very precariously placed on top of a single cobblestone. Okay, there we go. We got a bit of a platform now. I can actually start breaking some dirt. Very carefully, I may add. So I've made what I think should function as a cobble generator down here. I'm just double, triple, quadruple checking before I move it because I don't want what happened last time to happen again. And lava here, please work. Yes, okay, we're good. It is nighttime, I kinda have to be careful with mob spawning, so I think I'm actually gonna just get rid of all of the dirt now and we'll move it downstairs. Maybe let's just cover up the lava for now so no dirt falls in. Also, if anyone could let me know why I have a sea pickle, that'd be greatly appreciated. I don't really know what that's for. And there we go, no dirt wasted. I'm gonna leave these three up here just so that grass hopefully spreads and we can keep that on standby if needed. Just realized at some point I'm gonna have to deal with phantoms. I'm not looking forward to that. So in case of emergency, I've got this little phantom hole I can go in and just cover up <laughs> if needed. I think whilst it's daytime, I'm actually gonna parkour my way over and wander along the walkway to our spruce tree and finish chopping that down. I think I could do with some torches to be honest because our one lava source can only light up so much. Obviously there's no coal around so we actually need to get charcoal. So I think what we need to do here is smelt logs if I remember correctly. Obviously I don't do this that often so I could be wrong. Nope, I was right, that's how you get charcoal. There we are, now I have an actual lighting source that isn't just part of my cobblestone generator. Okay, I have no idea how far into the episode we are. It could be five minutes, it could be like 25 minutes, I don't know. And we haven't really done much, which isn't what I want from the first episode. So I'm just gonna grind away here, get lots of cobblestone and see if we can make a decent amount of progress and actually turn this shambles into something that kind of looks like home base. So I'll see you guys in a very quick clock wipe. Home sweet home. Isn't it just glorious? The most beautiful build I've maybe ever made in this game. No, obviously not. We are very, very limited on supplies at the moment. And I don't think we will really get that many more block options, but I'm hoping at some point in time throughout this series, we can build out of something that isn't just cobblestone. But for right now, that is literally all I have. So as you can see, obviously we've made this nice round platform. We've got a bit more movement going on here, which is great. Our berry bush is producing berries like crazy, so I don't have to worry about food anymore, which is just amazing. Our wheat has nearly grown over here. And I've even set up a little pumpkin farm over here in this section. And none of what you're looking at, by the way, is permanent, just in case that wasn't clear. Skyblock as a whole is something that just takes a while, so please bear with me. Whoa, my hair is like pretty much the exact same color as the void. <laughs> That's crazy. Once again, I am back to mining cobblestone, this time trying to get enough so I can pillar all the way over to the mangrove swamp. Mainly because that island, at least I think so, has another water source. Still need to do a little bit more cobble collection, but once it's daytime, I'm gonna head over to this island and grab that snow before I forget about it. Let's just make the platform a little bit bigger just in case any of these snowballs fly off the side. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got a spare one, fantastic. Two snow blocks able now to make a snow golem once our pumpkins grow over there. Good news, I now have enough saplings to start making two by two spruce trees, which is just gonna be amazing. Because obviously there's like 
20 times the amount of wood in a 2x2 spruce tree. So, you know, we'll actually be able to build out of spruce instead of just cobble. Anyway, back to the scary bridge placing. Oh, my blocks are invisible. That is horrible. Didn't manage to get over there before nightfall, so I'm going to wait until the morning before I continue that bridge. But I'm going to do something a little bit stupid now. There is absolutely zero light on that island over there, and it's full of spawnable blocks. And I'm just going to walk over there and see what appears, because honestly, I'm... Okay, I'm going to turn back, maybe. <laughs> I was hoping for a spider or maybe a skeleton so I could get something actually useful. I don't really want gunpowder, but hey, let's do it. This is hardcore. The whole fun of it is taking some risks. And on that note, I'm going to get out of FI because that in itself was a risk. <laughs> okay, come on then, creeps. Let's see if we can get our first kill of the series. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. But we should be fine. As long as I just don't stray to the left or the right, he's only ever going to blow us backwards. Oh, we did it. We did it. Whew. Okay, let's light up this island. <laughs> that was kind of the main reason I came over here. Make it nice and safe. That achievement was to create a fake cave and construct a platform that monsters can spawn on. I didn't really construct this, but thank you anyway. I'm thinking maybe next episode I would actually like to set up a mob spawner and get a proper place to actually farm some drops because, well, mainly I need string for a bed. Nighttime's real scary, especially in Skyblock. Another question for those of you who know Skyblock pretty well, is there any point in me keeping these islands here? Or once I've pillared out and got all of the resources from it, can I just get rid of it along with the bridge? That would make my perfectionist brain very happy. Because these bridges, they're pretty ugly, to be honest. Oh, look at that. There is water. Fantastic. Okay, now we don't have to worry about running out of that ever. There we go. Infinite water forever. We've also got three mangrove propagules and a lily pad for some reason. I've only got one, so hopefully it comes in handy at some point in time. Okay, this glowberry vine, really annoying. I want to get rid of it, but obviously I need my glowberry first, so I'm hoping... Okay, I can just trim it a little bit, and maybe hopefully when it regrows, there'll actually be some berries this time. I'm thinking this circle will most likely stay kind of as the center point for our base. We might change the blocks at some point in time, but the shape probably won't alter. And I kind of want to make it a little bit safer because right now there is absolutely nothing stopping me from just leaping off into the void. So I want to craft some fences, but just in time. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't have enough wood. <laughs> That's not a problem anymore. 48 logs, not too bad at all. Oh, no. I made a terrible mistake, I think. I was keeping what was grass up here preserved in case I needed some for a later time, but the tree turned into puzzle. I, I really, really hope I don't need grass in the future. I shouldn't, to be honest. I can't think of anything that would specifically need grass and can't just be used as dirt, but that does make me a little bit worried. I'm sure it'll be fine. So there we go, everybody. I think that's going to do it for episode one of our new Skyblock series. We're not going to be going above and beyond here. We're just taking a nice chilled out approach to the old school Skyblock and having a relaxing time. So I hope you guys have had that from this first episode. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Ooh, my week grew around here. <laughs>